<sighs> These bloody things. Yeah, our phones. They are everywhere. Technology is everywhere. It's a part of everyone's daily life. Whether it's a good thing or not, that depends on what you use it for, but the majority of us don't use our phones for productive things. And that's when I started to think about my own life and I started to realize back to my childhood, literally years ago, I'm getting up to 20 now and I was thinking back to my childhood days and I was realizing something. That mum was right. It's our goddamn phones, man. I want to tell you a story, basically about my journey from being quite an addicted child to phones, iPads, video games, very, very addicted. That was my biggest downfall to not touching video games in like a year and zero cravings to as well. You see, I want to tell you a story on young me, little kid me, a little kid, little Asian wilder, right? Walked around, got super addicted to his iPad. You know, he's like really young. He was addicted to this game known as Clash of Clans. Cock, as, as people call it now. But this is like years ago when it was like just known. It was just like, it was just, people were just starting to go on it. So it was a while ago. Found my typical dad's credit card and I spent a lot of money. I spent a lot of money. I was a young kid, man. I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but it got me, it got me gems and stuff. So I spent a lot of money. Uh, my parents kind of looked at me and were like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of like my point. I realized that like, okay, this is a bit of a problem. So yeah, but I didn't do anything about it. I got, obviously I got disciplined because I spent like a couple grand and stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. I was a, I was a small human being, <laughs> but, um, even though I did that, I still went on to stay addicted to video games. And then it happened again a couple times. Not as much money. God damn, I was a problematic child when it came to video games. I feel really bad for my parents. And there was one kind of thing that made me think about that our mum or your parental figure was right about phones. There was one time I was on a walk with my family, right? And we were walking and walking and I kind of just thought, oh, I kind of want to go on my phone. And it was in the woods, right? And then I went on my phone, and then my parents were like, get off your goddamn phone, man. Look around. It's nature. I got pissed off at them for it. And then, fast forward a few years down the line, I look back and I think, damn, my parents were right. And do you know why I thought this? Literally yesterday, I was walking in the woods, right? Went to a new place I'd never been to. It was a great drive. It was sunny weather. Well, sunny-ish. It was non-raining weather which is good enough for a walk so i went out went on a walk saw a lovely family that were walking down the same path as i was it was just a typical walking path i gave them a little nod a little you know smile hello none of them looked up from their phones they were all looking at their phones and that kind of just made me think like fuck thank you mum and dad <laughs> thank you mum for whooping my ass so I didn't turn out to be a fucking weirdo and it just kind of made me want to talk about how I actually managed to go from that to going out walking in nature and deliberately leaving my phone behind and not worrying about it at all does the idea of leaving your phone locked in a safe for a week does that idea scare you if you're this far in the video and that idea does scare you then you know it's a problem and that means you probably have heard of something known as dopamine detox. You've probably heard of dopamine detox, monk mode, all these kind of self-improvement terms. So you've probably heard of this, dopamine detox. And if you haven't, that's fine. It's the idea that you basically take a step back from things that give you quick, easy, cheap sources of dopamine. So for example, drugs, alcohol, doom scrolling on social media, technology, all these things that give you quick, sort of like pleasure but make you feel worse in the long run you take a big step back from technology social media is, and technology is a big one especially in a dopamine detox you take a big step back from it which in the current day in life where technology and our phones are basically everywhere a part of everyone's daily life that sounds impossible right yeah that sounds impossible it should be impossible it shouldn't be a thing that can be done since it's everywhere yet it is i've done it 
I'm literally looking at my history. That is my proof, right? I went from a little kid who spent fucked on the money, addicted to video games, to now who hasn't touched video games in like a year, who hasn't even thought of it. I went from that, from doing this, a dopamine detox. So for seven days, just don't go on your phone. Just put your phone in a cupboard, lock it somewhere else. Just don't go on your phone. And then maybe say you actually do. You actually manage to do a dopamine detox and it's hard. It is hard. So if you do, that is fucking great news. A dopamine detox's aim is to completely reset your brain from the current bad habits you're doing. So any bad habit that you're doing, you basically take a big step back from. And then you, after those seven days and you've hard reset your brain, you then go on to build new habits. But that's the big problem that a lot of people make. Even some people who've done a dopamine detox, they do it, they reset their brain, they do the hard work. And then when they just need to do slightly more good habits afterwards, they don't. Then they go back to the old habits they used to do. What was the point of resetting your brain if you're just gonna go back and do the same shit? When you do a dopamine detox, it is hard. But after you finish it, life is not as hard as what you've just done. All you need to do is slightly build up better habits. And one of those habits I hugely recommend is that childish nature. After really thinking about this and sort of looking at my past, sort of like <laughs> revisiting childhood memories, <laughs> after really thinking hard about this, I started to realize that at some point I sort of lost that childish nature. Specifically when I was in a very low point, like very low point, like low, 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 low point, where I was basically a shut-in. I was basically an alcoholic shut-in who just played video games and worked a nine-to-five job all the time. Had no friends. Yeah, life wasn't pretty. Life wasn't that good during that point. <laughs> but I lost a lot of my childish nature. You see, when I walk in the woods, yesterday when I went for a walk in the woods, I didn't just walk. I was almost like a child again. I went to, not yesterday, but a few days before, I went to my childhood my childhood woods. The woods that my family and I went on that walk. That very walk where they told me to get off my phone. I went back there again today. It wasn't a long drive, it was a long walk to get there. But I went there and I kind of just looked around and I was like, damn man. And I let my childish nature come through. And I went and climbed a tree. Those sticks that I saw that looked slightly like a gun or a fat sword, I went and used, hitting it against another tree. I gave in and let my childish nature come out and my god it felt so good. I'm gonna have to close my window. My neighbor's just singing really really loudly. You know what? That's exactly like what I mean. Give into your childish nature. Let, let you do the things that you want to do. Go out on a walk right now. Go climb that tree. What exactly is gonna happen? I'm going to get judged by who? Who the fuck is gonna be in the woods for the sole intention of judging other people? That's weird. If I'm in the woods, right, I'm climbing a tree, I'm really happy, just sort of doing my own thing. The happiest I've ever been, breathing in amounts of a fresh air, and someone comes by and they take up a photo or like, oh, he's climbing a tree. I'll look at them and be like, the fuck are you filming me? It's really, it's really pervy, man. What the fuck? Peeping Tom, what the, like, hey, yo. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I'd consider them weird. Mum was right. Our phones take up a huge part of our lives that we forget the other parts of our lives. The nice parts. The bits where we get to sit and relax in nature and just take a big breath and sort of just let time fly by. When was the last time you did that? You just went on a walk for a woods without your phone, by the way. Your phone's at home. Went out for a walk in the woods with the sole intention just to relax. After this video, I'm not going to tell you to click on something else. Just turn off the app. Put down your phone. Just go on that walk. Go on that drive. I hope things have been good. I hope, you, I hope you've been alright. I hope this video helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement gears.